a very inspiring story and the book of Karen Blake. A round of applause. Right. Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a long journey to be here, and I'm grateful that I'm here for so many reasons. There's so many people I have to thank. Starting with my loving husband. Yeah. Our two amazing children who are the inspiration for this book because I needed therapy. I was going nuts um, trying to do this middle class thing. It was more than a notion, and I needed to I needed to take a minute and figure out what I was doing and why I was doing it and what was the, the outcome that we were working towards. So that's the nature and the emphasis of this book. Um, I have my dear friends at home who are probably watching. Uh, Anita Reason, who is my stylist. I have Carla Pierce, who also um, is a stylist as well. So for those folks who are transitioning from one career to another, please consider, consider them as consultants. Um, I also want to thank Dolores Edwards, Edwards for my makeup and Anita for my hair um, and Doris Hilton um, who has nurtured my head back from the effects of chemotherapy. I have been in remission now for almost three years. So I say all that so you understand what I'm saying when I say it. I have been blessed with the gift of a loving husband and two amazing sons. Starting around age four, Stephen started what would become a quarterly habit of registering our children for one sports activity after another. It began innocently enough with T-ball at the local YMCA, followed by swimming, baseball, lacrosse, a short attempt at football, basketball, soccer, wrestling, and ice hockey. With the passing of each season, I have watched an accumulation of uh, sports equipment all over my house, becoming overgrown before the end of each season or outgrown at the end of each season. The main reason, reason that adults want their children to participate in organized sports is to teach each of them the lessons of character that they will carry with them into adulthood. Lessons are best learned through experience like teamwork, self-sacrifice, working to achieve a goal, persistence, learning to lead and when to follow, be prepared and follow through. Recently, my sleep in my sleep-deprived haze, I have begun to equate and translate some of these skills and lessons that many volunteer coaches have shared with my children and how they have applied to everyday life. This will go so fast, it's not even good bathroom reading. Just letting you know. <laughs> 10,000 words? Uh -huh. Not going to happen. With that said, lesson one, whenever possible, beat your coach to practice. One is as dedicated to preparation and execution of a team. No one is as dedicated to preparation and execution of a team than the coach. Nothing speaks louder than one's dedication to the team team more than being the first one to arrive to practice and the last one to leave. Uh, and the Lord has brought me through and he's like, come on, I asked you to do this. I need you to do this. I said, Lord, nobody wants to hear this. So with that said, people have asked me, what, why did it take you so long to, to publish? I said, because I didn't think anybody wanted to hear it. And in addition to, I had no money. Do you understand? We put our kids through private school. That is a mortgage. <laughs> so, can you have everything? Yes, you can, but maybe not all at the same time. Sometimes it, you have to wait for your season. And that's okay. The Lord willing, he'll find a way to get you through to your season about getting his Eagle Scout and that's another thing I didn't put into the book but we also did scouting as well and so they were camping every month which I enjoy tremendously because my husband would be away for at least a weekend every, every month <laughs> <laughs> and that way I could get some stuff done <laughs> them being out of the house and then I would call my mom and say mom he's gone <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. 